Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about a really exciting kit from Adafruit. It is the Arcade Kit. So when you open the box, you will get a Raspberry Pi 3, a power supply, five of these nifty little buttons, quick disconnects to connect both buttons to pins on your Raspberry Pi, and this really cool joystick. So things that you will need that are not in your kit, keyboard, mouse that talk through USB. We have them all put together into one, which is great, conserves USB ports. You will also need an HDMI cable and some way to show your display. I was using this really nifty little seven inch touchscreen. It does not come in the kit, but I think the scale is really nice. However, for this demo, I'm going to show you on the big screen. To get started, you really want to make sure everything works with your keyboard and mouse before you try to do these alternate controls. There are boards available that make this whole attaching GPIOs to the Raspberry Pi USB interface really easy. This kit does not come with those. We make you spin your own. So let's first get RetroPie set up, which is going to be the emulator we'll use for all of these great games. If this is your first time powering up the Raspberry Pi, you definitely want to update and upgrade aptkit. So go ahead and do that. I'm not going to show you because that takes forever. Um, but once you are there, you're going to want to clone the RetroPie repository to a depth of one. I've already done that, so you can see here that I have RetroPie already in there. So I can go look at that. What I really want is the RetroPie setup. So what we see in there is this file RetroPieSetup.sh. That's what you're going to want to run. And the first time that you run that, you'll need to use sudo, you will see it install a whole bunch more things. So, hey, that's great. It won't have to do that this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And this is a warning that if anyone has sold you RetroPie, report them because this is a free thing. The first time you do this, you'll want to do a basic install. After that, you will need to go in and manage your packages because it turns out that the emulator you need, Emulation Station, is not installed by default. So that definitely threw me for a loop the first time. Don't let it happen to you. Go in here, install Emulation Station. It's already installed because Hey, I got it running, but if you need to do that, you just click on it and say install from the binary code. I think source works too, but binary worked great for me. So we're going to back out of that. If you wanted to go ahead and play with your USB keyboard from here, you actually could. All you would need to do is go back out to the beginning, type emulation station, hit enter. Or, no, that's not true. You need to go all the way back out outside of the GUI. So control alt F1 and then hit emulation station. We need to do one more step in order to get our nifty controls up and running. So what we're going to do is clone a repository from Adafruit that is called RetroGame. Once you do that, you will see this file here, Adafruit RetroGame. Now that contains this file, RetroGame.config, in which you can put buttons you want mapped to your keyboard. So all this is doing is creating a fake USB keyboard. RetroPie is really good at handling USB inputs, not so familiar with GPIO. So we're creating a little bridge there. If you open up, I'm gonna use them here. You'll see that I've already gone in here and done this. So the GPIO that I have these four buttons and my joystick hooked up to are represented right here. Now make sure that you're actually using the GPIO, not the pin numbers, they're different. So I have my joypad hooked up to four GPIO as well as a ground because they're just buttons. So they're just tying to ground every time you push a direction. They're just normally open switches. These are literally just normally open switches. So that's why Adafruit gives you these two-headed connectors. So you just tie these two on there and plop that in. With the joystick, they gave you a ribbon cable. Um, mine didn't fit, so I used uh, crimp-on sockets for these here, which I found to work really, really well. If you don't have those, you can probably use wire strippers on the cable they give you on the joystick and try to jam them in there. I didn't feel it was that secure, but to each their own. So I've gone ahead and created this file. If you're going to use other 
buttons, you will want to put them in here. Um, I really only wanted left, right, up, down, A and B. I put X and Y in there for fun, but we're not gonna use them here. Make sure you get enter and space as well as escape, because if you get into RetroPie and you can't escape, you just have to restart and that's, that's a shame. So, once you've edited this, it won't go where you think it goes. So, this is not the real file. This is a copy of the file that you need to put into boot. If you try to do this through the file system, it'll yell at you because you need to sudo this. So, what you're gonna do is sudo copy this file, retrogame.config, into boot. Now, if you go into boot, you'll see that file in there, and if you open it, it's the same file that we just created, all the same numbers. Yay! So, that's really all you need to do. Um, this is a live editable file, so you don't need to do this, but if you feel safer going in and making it, we can do that. Already up to date, perfect. So, now we get to do the fun part. You wanna make sure you get this next step right because it turns out it's really hard to go back and reconfigure these buttons. So, we need to get entirely out of the GUI. So that is Control-Alt-F1, back to the command line that we're so familiar with. And um, we're going to go into that file we just created and run that executable so that we create that mapping. So for me, that was in home. Hi, Adafruit, and it was called Retro Game. I'm gonna run that in the background with an ampersand. Okay, now all we need to do is emulation station. You need to stop your VCC first. If you don't know how, do what I just did. Okay, this is the really fun screen. No gamepads detected, that's okay because we've not set this up yet. We are going to hold a button on our device to configure it. So this is where, yeah, you don't mess up. <laughs> so if we push A, you see that it noticed something has occurred. So we'll click up. If you need to skip a button, you just hold it down and it'll say not defined. And just like that, we're in. So now, if we use our up and down or joystick A, B for select and back, we're into the system, which is fantastic. And you can bop around in here, see what's available. These are all the settings that you can go through. When you have ROMs for video games that you already own, be good. You need to stick them in the ROM folder for the re relevant emulator inside of the GUI. You're not gonna be able to do that directly through here on RetroPie. This, as well as editing that config file, is why we had to load this on top of Noobs or Raspbian rather than just download the RetroPie file. So, I think we're here. I. I'm gonna go play Pac-Man now. And I hope you enjoyed this setup. There's obviously a lot more you can do with it. We just chose to use the existing box that they gave you, jam the buttons through holes, and then obviously if I was doing this for real, I would have put this inside of the box. But it's a pretty great setup. Nice clicky joystick, and you're ready to go.